Hey everybody, Howard here with a slow blues guitar solo designed for beginners. Those of you just getting started on the instrument, maybe you've been playing it for a few months or even a year or whatever. Uh, this solo is in B minor, it's in the key of B minor, so we're spreading things out a little bit compared to my earlier blues lessons. And I would actually consider this part seven, so to speak, of my beginning blues guitar course, which you can see right here on YouTube, okay? So let's get into it, let's get started. Now we have four chords, which we're not too concerned about here. We're concerned about the solo, of course, but I just want to let you know what those chords are. We're using a B minor seven, an E minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and an F sharp seven sharp nine. Those will be the chords in the progression, but again, this is about the solo, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But I will put the chords over the tab, okay, so you can see exactly what's being played underneath each chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the solo for you, as I usually do, and then we're going to break it down bit by bit, riff by riff, okay? Here we go. Let's dive right into it. Once again, we are in the key of B minor. This is a B minor 12 bar blues. And I'm using two simple scales to dial up this solo, okay? First, I'm using the B blues scale. And I'm using the B natural minor scale as well. simply combining bits and pieces of both of those together. Now, it's not important that you know those scales, but I did want to share them with you because now you know where I'm getting the information from, right? So let's dive into the very first phrase. Here we go. So the very first phrase played right underneath that B minor seventh chord is... So if you're just getting started, let's talk about that a bit. The first thing you want to know is slides, bends, hammer-ons, pull-offs. We're covering all of that in this lesson, okay? So I'm sliding from the 7th fret to the ninth fret on the D string. And you want to put your first two fingers behind your ring finger or in front of it, depending on how you look at it. And you want to give the string a nice little subtle vibrato by pulling it down toward your feet. And you might feel a little rocking of your wrist going on. That's excellent, okay? But you can fine tune your vibrato as you get to playing a bit more, okay? So we've got the slide. And then as you can see on the tab, we have. So we've got nine on the D string, seven on the G string, nine on the G string, and then a full step bend, okay? And again, you wanna put your fingers in front or behind of that finger to support it. And you don't wanna hear that bend fall. You just wanna hear it go up and then quickly go back to the seventh fret on the G string and nine on the D string. So we have. And then as you can see on the tab, making our way to the E minor seventh chord, we have. So the single notes are the same as what we've already used, of course. that hammer on in there, right? 
and that hammer-on is followed again by a nice vibrato, okay? So we have, as you can see on the tab, right? And you want your hammer-ons to be as smooth and as round as possible, right? Uh, as well as with your slides, okay, which we'll talk about as well. So here we go. Now, keep your finger on the ninth fret and then slide from 9 to 11, then 11 to 12. So we have... And then we move to the 10th fret on the B string, and we want to use your first finger for that. Okay, so 10 on the B string, 11 on the G, back to 10 on the B, and then a hammer on from 10 to 12. Once again, a hammer on. So let's put that whole phrase together that you're seeing on the screen. And as a note, uh, the backing track for this is provided at the end of this lesson so that you can practice the solo with me if you want, or you can practice the solo by yourself, and also just practice improvising around a little bit with those two uh, basic scales, okay? So let's move to the next phrase. So we have a pull off. Okay, so we're pulling from the 12th fret to the 10th fret on the B string. Now to do a good pull off, uh, you don't want to kind of go like this rock from the 12th to the 10th, right? You want to have that first finger in place already, fretting that 10th fret. That way when you pick the string and pull it off by flicking down toward your feet, that note is already in place and ready to be sounded, okay? Now the remaining notes are picked. And you can see those pretty clearly on the tab. I would suggest employing alternate picking, right? So that'll be a downstroke. And then when you move to the G string to the 11th fret, do down, up, down, up, down, up, just alternate picking from there. And then we do basically that lick again with the tail end of it slightly different. Okay, so both of those phrases together are... Once again, we're going to hear, but then we carry on from there moving to the five chord. So let's uh, talk about all of that as well. So once again, we're familiar with that lick already, but then we have a pull off again. And it's the same idea. We're pulling from nine on the D string to seven on the D string, and you want that first finger in place so it sounds again at the ninth fret. So we have, and then we're going to play, so that's pretty easy to see on the tab of course, uh, but let me take you through it anyway, nice and slow. All those notes are picked, but slide from 9 to 11 on the G string. And then grabbing the uh, B string at the 10th fret, give it a slight bend, like about a quarter of a bend, just to give it that bluesy feel. You can pull down if you want, or you can push up, either way. And then come back to the 11th fret on the G string and slide very quickly back to nine. So we have... So let's move to the next phrase. So we're back on the one chord now, the B minor seventh, and we have this. All right, so that's a double stop, meaning playing two notes at one time, okay? The first thing you wanna do is lay your uh, second finger down on the 11th fret on the G string, and then your third finger on the 12th fret on the B string, okay? So we're picking both of those notes at the same time. But what we wanna do now is lift that second finger off for a moment and put your first finger on the 10th fret. So we have 10 and 12. And what you're going to do is pick both strings and hammer that second finger up to the 11th fret.
just like that, okay? I'll do that nice and slow again. And then as you can see on the tab, we basically have the same lick again, but an octave higher. So we have and then we're going to play so that's pretty easy to see as well but let me play it nice and slow for you Got that slide with the first finger from 12 to 10, 11 on the G string, then keep your fingers in position and simply hammer back to the 12th fret on the B string. And then we've got a quick little, okay, so once again that's a very quick slide from 11 to 9 on the G string. 7th fret on the G string, and then 9 on the D string. So let me play everything you're seeing on the screen right now uh, nice and slow. going to make our way to the five chord, the uh, F sharp seven sharp nine, and we're going to play this. Now this is another double stop lick, okay, um, playing two notes at a time. Uh, you can use whatever fingers you want. I like to use my two middle fingers, the second and the ring finger, but you can use your first two, and in fact you might be able to see it better that way if I do that. But I'm sliding from nine to eleven on the G string. Hang on to that note, lay your next finger down, whichever one you choose, whichever way you're doing it, on the 10th fret on the B string and pick that string twice. And the idea is you want the two notes to blend together. And you play it three times, okay? Then we do another quick slide as before from 11 back to nine on the G string. And if you're playing it with these fingers, tab the tail end of that phrase but here it is with that hammer on at the end and then we have a bit of the minor scale coming into play so all of those notes are picked except the last one which is slid of course switch fingers for the slide if you want. So once again, playing everything together that you're seeing on the screen right now. And now we move to the next phrase. So we're rounding it out now and heading back to the five chord and we play this. similar to what we've done already but let me play it nice and slow you can see the tab so there you go with a slow blues guitar solo in the key of B minor designed for uh, beginners or those of you just getting started on the instrument and I will run the entire solo again with the backing track right here with the on-screen tab going by as it's being played, okay? Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who subscribes and drops me uh, some wonderful uh, comments and all of that. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can simply become a member. For like a penny shy of $5 a month, you can support the channel. And you'll also have access to uh, all kinds of tutorials and videos uh, in the members-only section, okay? So anyway, we'll see all you guys later. Enjoy. Bye.